Okay, so our goal here is to find all primes, or all prime numbers, that's whole numbers, that are less than or equal to 200. And I have a fun technique for this. Uh, I encourage you to pause this video and think about how you might do it. Uh, but if you're ready, keep listening because I want to share how I'm going to solve it. Uh, a quick note, 1 is not prime. Because if you think about what a prime number is, a prime number is a whole number that has exactly two different factors, one and itself. So like the number three is prime because it has two factors, one and three, and they're two different factors. One is not prime because, well, it only has two factors, one and itself. It needs to have two different factors. So, so one is not prime. Uh, this technique that I'm about to use is not my own. This is an ancient technique and I want to share it because I really do enjoy it. So um, the person that actually came up with this, let me just pause it and got to, the most difficult part here is to actually pronounce his name. So let me just pause it and practice that and then I'll say it again in the video. Okay, so I wrote the name out because I have, do have a hard time saying it. Uh, but this is Eratosthenes, um, and his technique is often referred to as the sieve of Eratosthenes, and this is how he would do it. Um, he would have any list of numbers and take a number like two, which is not, which is prime, of course. Excuse me. And then what he would do is find every multiple of two, because what's going to happen is four is a multiple of two, which means it has factors of one and 4, and 2, so it's not prime. So every multiple of 2 can't be prime because it has the factors of 1 itself and at least 2 times something, right? So these are actually other numbers that are built off of 2, which makes them not prime. So really, if you look at this column right here, all of these numbers are even and built off of 2. So we're going to cross all of them out. None of these are prime. Here, Right? We don't get, I don't think, any multiples of 2. Here, these are all even, so those are all multiples of 2. Those are all gone. Here, not so sure yet. Here, these are all even, they're all gone. And look at this pattern here. Every other column is even, so every other column can't contain any primes. So we've gotten started. Now we're going to look at multiples of 3, because 2 is our first prime on the list. 3 is our next. And every multiple of 3, like 9, and 15, and 21, and so forth, will not will not will not be prime because it has three as a factor. So aside from one in itself, it also has three. And some of these are harder to test because I have to process it. But process it with me. 33. That's three times 11, right? Three times 13 is 39. And I might miss some as I go on. And when I go back, I hope to catch them. Um, 41, no, 43, 45, yep, 3 times 15, and so forth. Um, okay, 51, no, oh wait, yes, because 3 times 17. Uh, 54, no, 57, yes, 60, I'm just counting up by 3, 63, 66 is a multiple of 3, 69, yes, 72, 75, 78, 81, maybe we'll see a pattern here, 84, you know, I'll mark these off as well as to try and see the pattern, um, 87, 88, 89, 90, okay, do one more row and look for a pattern in these marks to keep it going, because instead of having to calculate every mark, let's use a pattern, uh, 90 is a multiple of 3, 93, 96, 99, so the pattern here. In this column, it looks like I mark and I don't mark two, and then I mark and I don't mark two. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that pattern going here and say that these are all multiples of three. So one, two, boom, one, two, those are all multiples of three. Same thing here, two, and then a multiple of three, and so forth. So every other two. And with that, the same thing here. So the patterns will help me because I would I'm pretty slow at calculating with these kind of numbers. And we keep going. The pattern is going to help me here. Same thing here. Save me some time. I'm using his, his technique. 
And notice we're, we're, we're narrowing this list down quite rapidly now. Five is our next prime number, and all multiples of five. Now, fives are easy to recognize. You might know this trick. If the number ends in a zero or a five, it's a multiple of five. And if it doesn't, it's not a multiple of five. So all of these numbers, so far 25 is the only multiple here, 35, and in fact, everything in this column, they all end in fives. None of those will be prime. They all contain five as a factor. Uh, and in fact, that's it, right? Because all these other columns have no numbers ending in five. Now, what about seven? Let's look for a pattern with sevens. We're going to use red now. Seven, the next multiple of seven is 14, and then 21, and then 28, and then 35. And notice so far, all the multiples of seven are already, already been, have already been crossed out. So we're going to keep thinking about this. Um, sorry, so 35, 42, 49, there's one. And I'm trying to look for any pattern here in the way these hash marks are appearing to help me out. So I have to go through the whole list. I hope I find one, then 56, already crossed out, <coughs> excuse me. And then um, what's next here? 63, of course. Okay, crossed out. 70, which was even, already crossed out. How about 77? Yes, there's one. Okay, this is kind of cool. Look at this. It looks like the multiples of 7 are forming some kind of diagonal. Let's test out this one right here. So it goes, what's the, what's the slope of this? It goes 1, 2, over. 1, 2, over. 1, 2, over. So that means the next multiple of 7 should be here. 1, 2, over. And that, I can't read it, but it has to be 98. And yes, that is a multiple of 7. I think it's 7. Well, 7 times 10 is 70. And there's 28 more, so that's got to be 7 times 14. Keep going here. That means our next multiple of 7 is right here. And our next multiple of 7 is right here. And look at that. This pattern forms throughout. These diagonals are multiples of 7. And I love finding these patterns. I don't have to actually count out everything. So let's keep going. Multiples of 7. 7. Down and over. Down and over down two and over, down two and over, and so forth. Looks like all of these are already crossed out. Um, but I think there's going to be some multiples of seven in here as well. And let's look for another pattern. So how often did, did multiples of seven occur in these columns? Is there anything consistent there? Let's check that. Here it looks like it was multiple of seven, and then there was one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, in six numbers in between the next seven, and then one, two, three, four, five, six between the next two sevens. Same thing here, three, six, okay, so these, these are gaps of six, gaps of six, gaps of six, and so forth. So I can actually use that to find my multiples of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, here's a multiple of seven. Let's cross it out, let's use red. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and no other multiples of 7. These are already all crossed out, so there's nothing else to look at here. Here it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, multiple of 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, multiple of 7. So now I feel confident that we crossed out all the multiples of 7. And notice we move to our next prime number, 11. Now 11s are fun as well. Um, Let's, let's think about the multiples of 11, 22, and 33, and so forth. Multiples of 11 have, have two of the same digits. So our first multiple of 11 is itself, of course, and then 22. Where is 22? There it is. And then 33. Where is 33? Here it is. And then 44, and so forth. But it looks like all of these have been crossed out. 66, um, 77 is right here. 88 has already been crossed out. 99, and then 110. Okay, so so those are already gone. Um, let's let's look through the rest though. Are there other multiples of eleven in this list? Looking down, here's one. One twenty one. I know this is a multiple of eleven. You might know this cool trick. Uh, the two digits one and one add up to two in the middle. That means it's a multiple of eleven. So we cross that out. And I bet, of course, that this diagonal, since it was here, will also form here. So one thirty two. That's a multiple of eleven. 143, yes, because 1 plus 3 is 4. Uh, and then we keep going. 154, yep, 1 and 4 is 5. 165, 
176, 187, and 198. And this distance right here is too great to, to pop up again in the list. So we keep going. 13, that's a prime. Now 13 is a prime, I have no idea if there's any pattern with the multiples of 13, but we'll find out. 26, that's a multiple of 13, that's already been crossed out. And then another multiple of 13, of course, is 39, that's already been crossed out. And then, uh, wow, T plus 10 is 49, 52, already been crossed out. And what you, know, you might be noticing as well is that um, the, the multiples of th 13, many of them have already been crossed out because this list is becoming shorter and shorter. So now what I'm going to do to make my life a little bit easier, instead of looking for these patterns as I've been doing, I'm going to just look at the numbers that are left and say, are they prime? And then build from there. 17 is prime. Okay, 19 is prime. 23, right? None of the factors before go into it. Um, 29 is prime. And look how many prime numbers there really are here. 31 is prime. 37 is prime. 47 is prime. 43 is prime. And I think so far it's making sense, right? Um, just checking, 47. And I'm kind of not using his sieve technique here because now I'm circling and saying, is that prime? 41 is prime. 53 is also prime. And, and now what we can do to check these if we're not so sure is use the, the ones we circled before 53 to test if any of them go into it. Like, for example, 41 does not go into 53, so does 43, 47, 37, all too large to go into 53. Here, only 23 and down are large enough to go into it. So we know that 13 does not go into 53, goes into 52. That doesn't work. And 17 times 3 is 51 doesn't work. 19 times 3 is, well, it's 30 plus 27, 57. That doesn't work. So this is definitely prime. Now we have 59 over here. Uh, that's also prime. And notice that none of these, uh, oh, this is, so far we almost got it, I think, where all of these are prime. And I know I'm cheating here a little bit. Okay. So now, as you can see, we can keep going with this, and we're actually able to generate the list of primes. So now I'm going to finish this up. Now I know this is seemingly like taking a very long time, and I'm sure I could have solved this faster if I had been talking less, but really, can you believe it, we're basically done. On this list that's left, there's only one number left that's not prime, and you could test this, of course, and the goal of the sieve, or the sifter of a, a of Erastothenes, Eratosthenes, excuse me, uh, is that it's a, it's a foolproof way of finding the primes, because it's very difficult to do it, and if you think this takes long, Try just testing each of them and all the factors. You'll be here forever, um, especially for larger groups. And so I'm going to circle. I'm keep circling all the primes, and I'll show you the one that I know that's left that's not prime. So you can keep trying this technique, and these might take a little bit longer, right? But all of these numbers that are left are prime, which is so cool that this actually is able to produce the list oops, of prime numbers. It's not easy to do. And uh, it gets very, very difficult and some numbers get larger and larger. Uh, so difficult, in fact, that, that there are prizes offered for people finding the next large prime. And if you're wondering why people would do this, well, well, that's another video to talk about. But this is very important. And the only number left that's not prime is 169, which is 13 squared. And all of these numbers here, all the ones left, so we're done, are the prime numbers between uh, up to and, and, and equal to 200. And that's our list. Alright, thanks for hanging in there.